right, let's get a check now on this Friday forecast with TJ. Uh, Friday looking pretty good, but uh, TJ, you and the rest of the folks in our weather department have been keeping your eyes on a storm system headed away for the weekend and Saturday looks pretty messy. It does look messy and that's a good word for it. We're not expecting all snow with this storm. There'll be a lot of rain on top of the snow, which will create some slushy conditions. And then just for fun, it'll probably end us some snow. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Our uh, winter storm watch is in effect for areas north and west of Providence for Saturday, beginning late tonight and uh, in through Saturday afternoon. And and maybe into the evening as well. Areas not under the winter storm watch like Providence, New Bedford, Fall River. You are going to be seeing some snow and some accumulating snow. However, uh, probably not nearly as much as what they're expecting north and west of the city. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. All quiet, all dry. Our threat tracker today, a quiet weather day. Tonight and uh, Saturday, medium chance of weather that'll impact your life, that being this upcoming storm. And we'll break this storm down uh, over the next uh, couple of minutes. Narragansett, the sky's brightening up nicely as we look on off to the south and east from Narragansett Town Beach. Live pictures from Providence. Sky's still dark, but we are going to be seeing the skies brightening up nicely as because, well, we're going to have a, a nice Nice sunrise this morning. 19 in Smithfield, 24 Providence, 25 Newport, westerly at 24, 26 degrees over in Tiverton with a wind from the northwest at five miles an hour there. Satellite radar picture, we've got dry skies here in southeastern New England. We head on off to the south. There's our storm system getting organized down here across the deep south. That'll be working its way on off to the north and east. We'll see an area of low pressure pass on off to our south and east during the daytime tomorrow. It will be rapidly intensifying, but also moving rapidly. So despite its strength, it's not going to have a lot of time to uh, create a ton of snow. But we are going to be seeing uh, some uh, plowable snow across parts of the area, especially to the north and the west of the city. Let's take a, a look at the future cast in terms of precipitation. And here we are through the nighttime tonight, clouding up with snow developing after 3 a.m. And then we'll be seeing some rain and some sleet getting involved here by 730, even in Providence, north and west of the city, though, maybe some heavy snow at that time turns to all rain everywhere, maybe even up in the northwestern part of the state briefly, and then going back to snow as the storm system pulls away and colder air returns. And then the storm system should be gone probably by around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So in Providence, we'll see snow turning to rain, back to snow mainly snow in our extreme northwestern part of the state. Snow turning to mainly rain south of Providence and ending as a bit of snow late in the day. How much? Two to four inches across the Providence metro area total. What's going to fall in the morning and again later in the day. Four to eight inches north and west of the city up to two inches around Narragansett Bay and at the coastline. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. There's that messy stuff for Saturday. Sunday, we are looking at temperatures to be climbing into the mid thirties in the afternoon. It'll be kind of breezy and some gusty winds expected. Monday, another chance of snow. This one, Right now, looks like it'll be minor, but some small accumulations are possible. It'll likely begin in the morning, continue through Monday night into early Tuesday morning uh, with minimal accumulations. Then it gets colder as we head through the rest of next week. You can get the updated future cast anytime by going to our website, WPRI.com. Let's get an update on the morning commute with your jam.